We have a new IDX add-on called Save Links Map, and it looks like this. We recently added to the site Eagle Eye Realty CT um, that we did IDX Connect on. So it's over here, and it's in the section called Properties by Area that we created on their homepage. As you can see, it's kind of similar to the Google Maps widget, but the difference is that this one is showing specific properties. So it's called search by map. And the new add-on um, is showing properties in a saved link. So these are properties in New Britain, East Hartford and Hartford City. Um, and when you click on this section, it will show you all of the listings in the saved link. Let me show you. So if you click on New Britain, it will show you where it is. And then if you click on 59 listings, either here or here, it will open the properties up in a new tab like you see here. So these are all properties in New Britain and it will use the template that you usually have for the results. Um, so this is the results template that these clients chose. And then when you click on the property, it will show the details page that they chose. You can go back to the map and then look at the properties in East Hartford, for example. So this is created over here in IDX add-ons. Um, you have five saved links available. You can add saved links over here um, and you have to create them on an IDX broker. So you would go to your IDX broker dashboard. So this is our demo account. This is not the client site, um, but in your account, you would go to design website and save links. And you will see the saved links that you've created here and you can create a new one here. I'll also add in the link to the video that explains how to create a saved link in the description below. Um, so you would create a saved link based on the criteria that you want the properties to have, and then you can add them here. Once you select one, you click on save, they will show up here. And then you can choose a style for the map. It's the style that will show up here. So you can choose from any of these. And also if you have a Google Maps API key and you want to use your own Google Maps, um, you can also go to the API key section and add one. If not, it's going to use our account, um, but it doesn't matter, you can use ours without a problem. So you choose your map style, you can add some custom CSS. In this case, we modified the font. You can take a look at this code. If you wanna modify the font to be like this one, um, and then you can choose a map zoom level. So this is the level of the camera. Um, one would show you the world, five would be the landmass or continent, 10 would be the city, 15 would be the streets, and 20 would be the building. So you add in an approximate zoom level. In this case, this is showing 13. Um, so once you've done all that, you've added the saved links that you want, you can add up to five. You've chosen the style, Zoom level, custom CSS if you wanted. You would copy this code and then you would just add it in anywhere on your site where you want this map to show up. In this case, they added it on their homepage in this section. You can get access to this add-on along with all of the apps you see here by making Realty County your developer partner. If you don't have an account, you can go here and sign up for the premium for free option. This is the best option and the one we recommend because you get access to all of the apps in our templates for free. And all you have to do is send IDX broker an email saying you want Realty County to be your developer partner. So once you add in your email and API key, it will prompt open um, a template for you to send out to IDX broker and they will make the change in one to two business days. So you do need an IDX broker account, but this is available for everyone. Um, you have other options here that you can explore. And once you get access, you'll be able to see all of the apps as well as these other sections like IDX colors and IDX templates. Um, the one I just showed you is this one, Save Links Map.